Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm ranking the last 10 league MVPs. We all agree that Joel Embiid is currently the MVP this year. So to commemorate him winning likely the MVP, his first one, I'm gonna look at all these 10 guys. Actually, they're not 10 guys, it's different guys. You know, Steph won it twice, Giannis won it twice. And we're gonna rank them right here. Overrated, debatable MVP. You had a great season or it's an all-time great season. For more content like this, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get into it. LeBron James 2012-13. LeBron James in 2012-13, I would take almost, I would take him over almost any player to ever live. Like this guy, I think he shot like 40% from three, like 56%, 57% around there from the field goal, field goal percentage. And they won 66 games. They had a 27 game win streak in the season. That LeBron is just, you know, he he should have won Defensive Player of the Year as well. That LeBron is better than any player on this list right now. That LeBron is better than almost any player, period. <laughs> that is an all-time season. That is a unanimous MVP season. It gave it to um, Carmelo Anthony, like one of those votes, I think. I think the Knicks won 54 games. That's stupid. LeBron James definitely that year deserved to have the first unanimous MVP. And I will take that guy. I might take that guy over Michael Jordan. I'm saying, if you're going to take anyone with, over Michael Jordan, you take him. Um, 2014 Kevin Durant was also a very impressive season. I think he averaged 32 points per game, something like that. Russell Westbrook was hurt for a lot of the season. So Kevin Durant coming in, um, putting up great scoring numbers. At the time I was looking at him, I was like, who is the guy who can, you know, one day maybe even pass Michael Jordan as a player? I was thinking maybe Kevin Durant because this guy can give you 30, 40 points a game. And it's a very silent 40. He's just getting 40. It's the most efficient 40 point game, 40 points you'll ever see. Um, I'm not going to put it at all time season. The reason why is because it's a very underrated season. And that's not to say that it's not an all time season in that sense. It's to say it's like usually all time seasons are talked about a lot more. There's a lot more buzz around it. The 2014 Kevin Durant MVP, the only real buzz is, you know, you know, mama, you the real MVP. That little meme he had. Um, I'm putting at great season. It is definitely a really good season. And if it maybe if you won a championship that year, or maybe if it went, you know, I don't know. It's just it doesn't get talked about as much. And I'm not gonna put it at great because it's not getting talked about as much. You know what I'm saying? It has to have that legacy factor to it. Steph Curry 2015 is going to go into the debatable. Oh, now the Steph Curry fans gonna be like, what? Um James Harden, if James Harden out of all the MVPs that were available that he could have won, that's the second one he should have won the most. That one. Because Steph Curry had a hell of a season. But the fact that Steph Curry had Klay Thompson, Draymond Green, and such a great offensive team around him, while James Harden didn't have Dwight Howard for half the year, he didn't have um, a lot of his, yeah, Jason Terry and Trevor Ariza, Donatus Modi Unis, and Joey Dorsey. And they won 56 games in a Western Conference that if you lost one more game, if they did not win 56, if they won 55 games, they would have been the sixth seed. That's when the Spurs were the sixth seed. The Spurs, who were a freaking bomb squad team, were the sixth seed. That was a very tight conference. And all, every, all five teams in our division made the postseason. And James Harden with a very, just a cast of just you know write-offs like they're nba players but they're not like people that you know that much was able to win 56 games in the tough western conference the second seed he had more points per game than steph curry they say steph didn't play in the fourth quarters but i just say that's because his team so dang good he averaged 23 a game i was like 23 a game and you're the mvp i don't know man it's debatable they did a players mvp they had a players vote i think bet did like a players vote who should win mvp and james harden was the one they picked so hey it's debatable but for all you Steph fans that are on me and roasting me crazy, the 2016 MVP is the one that cemented it. And it cemented it so much that a lot of people don't even think of the 2015 MVP being debatable. The 2016 MVP is likely, um, in my opinion, is top three greatest seasons I've ever seen. I'm going to say I've ever seen. I think it's one of the greatest seasons of all time. He shot 400. He made 402 three-point shots. They won 73 games. They were absolutely unstoppable. And that's one of the times I can say, oh, yeah, because Steph Curry is just that guy. You know, they start off 24-0. The postseason was more of a wild ride. They made the finals, blew a 3-1 lead. That's very historic in itself. But the season in itself, the regular season, it was historic. They won 73 games, and he shot 400 threes. And was it five threes a game he averaged? Yeah. It's It's... That's an all-time season. Your 2015 is debatable, but your 2016 is all-time. There's no debate.
Russell Westbrook 2017. What I'm going to do, I'm going to remove my personal bias and I'm going to put it at all time season. Because I'm just what I'm gonna say about the Russell Westbrook MVP. I could also say, well, James Harden had a point of winning MVP, and he did have a point because I never believe, in my mind, I don't ever believe a six seed can win league MVP, in my opinion. And he had terrible spacing on that team, but he had some solid players. They made it seem like he was playing with G Leaguers, but he was playing with some solid players. But disregarding that, that was an MVP that was for the fans, right? Like Russell Westbrook versus James Harden was a good MVP race. Um, we all knew KD and the Warriors were going to win the NBA championship, so they needed something. We needed something to distract the fans from the obvious fact, and that race was the thing that you know distracted the fans because it was one of the best MVP races of all time. And Russell Westbrook averaging a triple double, and you know, first time Oscar Robertson. Obviously, hindsight, he did it multiple times after, but that people saw that man, that was that's never going to happen again. When he when he broke the record for triple doubles in the season, they gave him a reward for it. So the fact that they gave him a reward for doing that also tells you that like okay yeah this is definitely they definitely are like we know the warriors are going to win we need entertainment for the season and russell westbrook you are that entertainment so i'm gonna give it to you all time season average triple double we'll give it to you 2018 james harden i'm put that at great season so james harden finally got one um some people may think debatable from the fact that um they say LeBron should win MVP. At the end of that regular season, 2018, there was not a single soul that believes LeBron should win MVP. I mean, LeBron fans, yeah. But there shouldn't have been a single soul that definitely believed LeBron should win MVP. Now, at the end of the postseason, you could have thought that. But it is a regular season award. James Harden averaged more points per game. And James Harden had his team had more wins in the Western Conference, which is usually seen as the tougher conference. Um, the James Harden team has also blasted LeBron's teams both times they played. Many years before the season started, people thought Chris Paul and James was not going to work. I said, you're out of your mind. But James Harden played outstanding that season. 60-point triple-double, the first one of its kind. Um, and like I said, you know, they said, you know, we didn't. he didn't have the best stats. He had the best stats. They said he had the most wins. He has the most wins. He's the MVP. Great season. Um, bad loss in the, final, in the conference finals. But I can't really blame him too much. Um, he didn't, he wasn't able to get it done, but you can't really ask a superstar to go against, you know, four all-stars, two of them being superstars themselves. You can't ask and expect him to carry that. Like he's choked before, but that's not one I'm going to blame on him. 2019 Giannis. This is tricky because both of his, his MVPs are interesting. I'm going to put, cause 2019, it was 2020, 2019, 2019, average like 30, they won 60 games. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put. It, I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. You know. I'm gonna say great season. I think James Harden had a great shot of winning that one. I'm gonna say this though. You won 60 games. You had a great team, great record, and the Rockets faltered at the end. I'm gonna just do it. I'm gonna just give you great season. I think your second one's a little more debatable. I think your second one. I think LeBron was going to win the MVP until COVID happened, stopped everything. So when COVID happened, that stopped that whole operation from LeBron winning the MVP. So I'm gonna say your second one's more debatable. Your first one is also kind of debatable, but I'm gonna give you a great season because you know what, you had a great season. But second one, that probably should have been LeBron's if the season continued. Cause I remember he beat the, he beat the Clippers and he beat the Bucks back to back games. I was like, oh, LeBron and the Lakers got some good plot right now. But COVID happened, help you honest out. But then LeBron won a championship, so it's all good in the end, I guess. Jokic, his first time, I'm going to say, I'm put that at a great season. Um, yeah, I'm put that at a great season. It, it was one of those things. Joel Embiid definitely was going to win MVP until, like, the end. And then, like, Jokic started pushing up. and Embiid didn't play a lot of games. He got injured. And then Jokic definitely was playing very well. So Jokic definitely deserves to um, capture that one. I will actually put his second one at overrated, though. And the reason why I'm putting the second one overrated because... Like they gave a six seed the MVP the first time with Russell Westbrook because he averaged triple double. They hadn't seen that in 50 years. You know, the pretty, pretty, shiny, shiny statistic. They were like, oh my gosh, he, right? So they gave it to him. But, you know, I think, um, you know, Jokic, he has something, I think he had like 2,000 points, 500 rebounds, 500 assists, something like that. He has something like that, which is impressive. But you're the six seed. To me, that's not an MVP. If you're the six, if you're the six seed, I need to, you need to have. A triple double average, I guess. And that's even then I was like, I don't even believe in that, but whatever. But Jokic didn't have no triple double average and he is the MVP. I was like, nah, I think Embiid deserved MVP. But 
We'll give it to Jokic and A and B. Right now, you'd be at great season. If you were in, if you were on this list, you'd be at great season as well. Um, but how many people out of these won championships? LeBron won a championship and Curry won a championship, and that's it. No one else. <laughs> so the last ten MVPs, only two of them won a championship. That's kind of depressing. I want to make sure? Yes, yes, yeah. They didn't win a championship. Yeah, only two of them. Depressing. Um. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching uh make sure to like comment subscribe for more content i will do a lot of nba postseason content i'm very excited for it i'm very excited to see what the league mvp joel mb is going to do in this postseason so stay tuned for that and like i said subscribe for more content i love y'all and i'll catch y'all the next one i'm out of here peace